You give your child money every time she swears? Oh, bravo, detective. Lucifer Season 6 is set to be the final season of the beloved series which came to Netflix from Fox. Its sixth season is set to release on Netflix in either late 2021 or 2022. And there's a bunch of information we know about the show's sixth season already. Fans of Lucifer were delighted when the series was saved from cancellation once again, and we bet you're one of them. Today, we're talking about the six theories about Lucifer Season 6. Number 6. It's all in the title. The creators have begun teasing what viewers can expect from the final outing. After an article from TV Line reporting that Lucifer Season 6 would only consist of eight episodes, it was later debunked by D.B. Woodside, who confirmed that Season 6 would consist of 10 episodes in total. Well, the titles from these episodes have caused quite some stir. In case you haven't already found out, here are the titles. Nothing Ever Changes Around Here, Buckets of Baggage, Yabba Dabba Doomy, Pin the Tail on the Batty, The Murder of Lucifer Morningstar, A Lot Dirtier Than That, My Best Friend, Save the Devil, Save the World, Goodbye Lucifer. As well as the release of the titles, the series creators have also released a little bit more about what fans can expect from the final outing. Joe Henderson and Ildi Modrovich have opened up about this in several interviews so far. Speaking to TV Line, Henderson explained how they were initially a little reluctant for a sixth season. He said, We were just like, do we want to do a sixth season when we have the perfect ending that we love so much? And we took a couple of days and realized we really wanted to do it. I feel like the legacy of a show is so defined by whether it sticks the landing. And that was where our concern came from when approached about a sixth season. We felt like we were about to stick the landing and it was, do we want to jeopardize that? But what we realize now is that this is us sticking the landing, and it's really, really exciting. Modrovich added, and Lucifer getting six seasons? It just sounds right. Which is something the world has never seen. Yeah. Well, here, I'll show you. Number five, cast. Before season six was ever confirmed, Tom Ellis's continued involvement was a big talking point online. But eventually, all of the chatter died down when it was confirmed that he would indeed be back. Modrovich and Henderson are also on board, and here's a list of the rest of the major players. Lauren German as Chloe, Leslie Ann Brandt as Mays, Rachel Harris as Linda Martin, Amy Garcia as Ella Lopez, Kevin Alejandro as Dan Espinosa, Scarlett Estevez as Trixie Espinosa, D.B. Woodside as Amanadio. But we should add that we haven't seen Season 5 Part 2, so it's not guaranteed that all of those faces will be back for the final chapter. As we head into the last leg, there's a chance that tragedy could strike, taking any of the show's characters with it. And we also know that Henderson is going to be popping up in the future, although we don't know yet exactly when. But don't tell anyone that. It's still a secret. Of course, my niche. Simpler times. Number 4. Goodbye. Lucifer could be saying goodbye to a major character, or even the titular devil himself, based on a frightening clue in a newly revealed episode title for Season 6. The confirmed title of the ninth episode of Lucifer's sixth season seems to have confirmed a significant departure from the series. On Twitter, the official page for the show's writers revealed episode 9 would be titled Goodbye, Lucifer. While this would already be an appropriate name for the last episode in the adventures of Lucifer Morningstar, this will instead serve as the second-to-last chapter in the whole series. However, as confirmed by the writers themselves, fans are likely to be saying goodbye to one of their most beloved characters in the series before Lucifer comes to an end. They revealed, who will be saying goodbye in Lucifer's second-to-last episode? You have 17 episodes to go before finding out, and you better believe writer Chris Rafferty is bringing the feels. Thankfully, they also assured followers, but don't worry, he wants you all to know that he's looking out for your hearts. It seems like Lucifer fans are already strapping in for an emotional final outing. Optimistic fans are hoping the new title doesn't spell tragedy for Lucifer and his detective love interest, Chloe Decker. Meanwhile, fan theorists have been busy determining if the devil will have to say goodbye to his brother Aminadio or his best friend Mazakin. There's also a good chance that God won't be bowing out of the series until this time, after he made his sudden debut at the end of last year's mid-season finale. Number 3. Theory from Reddit Do you have any aloe vera? I ain't going back to LA. Given that all the actors only came on board in July of 2020, it's fair to say that even the writers might not know where things are headed at this point. In fact, showrunners Joe Henderson and Ildi Modrovich were approached by Netflix to do a season 6 while they were finishing up a final draft for a season finale, leading to a decision to chop off their ending and dive into each element a bit more for an entire season. One of our favorite theories about where season 6 might start comes from a Lucifer subreddit, where a fan offered up a theory that branches out from the very first moment in season 5's first episode. 
In the past four seasons, the show has opened up with Lucifer having an encounter with Lee Garner. In the first episode of season five, Garner is stuck in a hell loop. Lucifer presents him with a door into his childhood home to see his family, a door he wasn't able to enter in the land of the living because of his guilty conscience. Redditors posit that the door with which Lucifer presents Garner is actually the way out of hell. How beautifully poetic would that be? We have a long way to go to find out, but here's hoping Garner finds redemption. Any debts that you owe? Pay for your friends downstairs, medical bills, and have a chance at a new life. Number 2. Room to Breathe Two of Lucifer's principal stars have revealed what the series' surprise renewal could mean for the beloved cast of characters. Ella Lopez, played by Amy Garcia, and Amon Adiel, played by D.B. Woodside, could undergo their biggest changes yet after comments were made by the two main cast members. Both the forensic investigator and the angelic brother of Lucifer Morningstar faced tough challenges in the first half of the popular fantasy drama's fifth season. As Amon Adiel struggled with the responsibilities of fatherhood, Ella's dorky new boyfriend turned out to be a sadistic serial killer. Now Lucifer's father, God, is finally on the scene. It's unknown what the upcoming family reunion will mean for Lucifer's earthbound friends. The series was initially expected to end after season 5, but a shocking announcement from Netflix this year revealed Lucifer would instead conclude with its sixth installment. However, the battle of good versus evil isn't over yet, and comments from Amy Garcia and D.B. Woodside have indicated the gang will be taken to some new dark places in the final season. Woodside told Radio Times, our fans are going to get a chance to see us in different ways before we get to the end, so I think the sixth season is really for the fans. Both Woodside and Garcia confirmed the season six renewal came as a great relief, giving the writers a chance to do justice to each character's ongoing story arcs. The Aminadio star added, the ending that they had planned, now they're just going to stretch it out a little bit and allow all of our characters some space and room to breathe and maybe even tell some more stories about each of the characters. Following Ella Lopez's terrifying encounter with Pete Daly in Season 5, fans were expecting the quirky CSI to spend the rest of the season recovering from the traumatic experience. Thankfully, the fan favorite now has at least eight additional episodes to overcome her grief, find love elsewhere, and maybe even discover Lucifer's devilish secret. Amy Garcia echoed her co-star's comments and indicated the final episodes will bring the show to an incredibly satisfying conclusion. And she revealed, Like D.B. says, it's not just going to be like a montage ending of how each character ends up. Now it'll be an episode for each character to see how they end up. So basically it's the same story, which is great, because we were given the opportunity to tell a great story and now it's just going to be a great, deeper story. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Number 1. My Best Friend as we've already mentioned the titles of the upcoming season, the seventh installment seems to be called My Best Friend. So what is something we like about this title? Well, for starters, we were tricked at the moment we first saw it. Our initial feeling was that the title was My Best Friend, which seemed far too wholesome in the end for a show like this. Seeing that it's My Best Fiend ultimately makes a whole lot more sense. Ultimately, we think this episode has to have something to do with hell, demons, or the like. It could be a fun dive into the show's mythology, and clearly something that better sets the stage for the series' endgame. The most important thing to remember, as sad as it may be, is that there are only three episodes left of Lucifer on the other side of this. So you better go and be prepared for the sadness that's going to come along with that. Are you waiting for Lucifer Season 6? Do you have any theories? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.